Those are his pants. <laughs> Here, I'll use oh. this. Pot. You know, I was, I was thinking about how easy Claire was with you, you, and Harold. You know, he warmed up to you right away, and that is a rare thing. Well, I, I think when you and Barbara you. bring his second grandchild down to him, he'll warm up to her too. If he's around that long, I'm so sorry. Why does he keep you at such a distance? Did you notice that? Well, it's because he's not entirely convinced that I'm his son. You know, you told me about that a long time ago, but I never really understood. Well, I just can't believe that my mother was unfaithful to him. I... Although, God knows, Harold gave her reason to be unfaithful, but... Uh... There was a man who cared very deeply for my mother. His name was Lester Carner. He used to... He used to write her poetry. But uh, Lester has been dead for many years, and so has mother, and... the truth died with them. I wonder who that could be. Who is it? It's Claire. Come on in, Claire. Oh, I'm sorry to disturb you. I tried your room first, Hallie, but you weren't there, and so I... I, uh... Oh, I, um... Did you see how all those guys were staring at you? Uh, it was like you were the only woman in the whole room. Julie, I... Would you give me some punch? Oh, what? Hi. hi, Julie. Oh, hi. Andy's getting me punch. Uh, that's, that's a very nice dress. Oh, thank you. So is yours. Very festive. <laughs> so you guys know a lot of people here? Actually, not really. I, I can't recognize some people from class. Hey, hi, Carrie. How are you doing? How are you? Good. Um, do you know Julie? Is Julie Wendell? Carrie Sturgis. Hi. Hello, Julie. Uh, Duke, this is Bruce, Bruce Smithwick, and uh, here's Duke Kramer. You grad student? No. no. Uh, freshman. So, what's for the camera? Yeah, I work on the school paper. And what year are you in? I'm not. My boyfriend, uh, Andy Dixon, is a sophomore. Oh, sure, yeah. Now I know why you look familiar. Andy and I are in the same photography class. I saw the proof sheets he took of you. You're incredibly photogenic. Thanks. <laughs> well, uh, I'll go get some punch and see if I can find Andrew. And uh, you're D.A. Hughes' daughter, right? Yes, How about I take a picture of you and Carrie together? So that the daughters of two political adversaries could be such good friends. Well, you must be new around here. I'd recognize a sweet thing like you. Where are you from? Seattle. Seattle, huh? Isn't that where Duke Kramer's from? Did you know each other? Yes, but I'm not interested in talking about ancient history right now. Oh, I get it. An old boyfriend, huh? How about a dance? No, thank you. I'm with my boyfriend, Andy Dixon. <laughs> Dixon? You can't be serious. Oh, well, yes, I'm very serious. It's all the same. We can't let this music go to waste. Go. I said no. Nobody said no to Kevin Marshall. No. Jeez! <laughs> oh, I wish I got a picture of that. Julie! What, what, what happened? Oh. I got Kevin was being a creep, so I cooled him off. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I had fun. I, I was, I don't know, I'm just so happy to see Duncan so happy. I think that's marvelous. It'd be nice if you could find a little of that happiness for yourself. <laughs> I'm frankly getting worried with Rock's divorce dragging on and on. What is the problem, anyway? Well, he was going to leave the country to have a fast divorce, but since he was subpoenaed to testify, it doesn't look like uh, that's going to happen. Well, what, what happened to the civil divorce? 
His wife's lawyer didn't want it to happen that way. And there's some family pressures. Uh-huh. What family pressures? Mother, please, I'm not in the mood for a third degree, okay? Well, what do you really know about Brock or his family? I know enough to, to know that I want to spend my life with him, okay? Well, I don't know. And you would think that he would want to be with you now that the, the, the trial is looming. Mother, he went to see his wife's family in Wisconsin for a few days. He went to see his wife's family. He takes a vacation with the woman he's leaving when the woman he loves needs him. Don't you find that a little bizarre? You know what I think is bizarre? I think it's bizarre that you pay so much attention to my personal life when you should be concentrating on you and John. By the way, when was the last night he spent here? That is none of your business. And at least John is not giving me a song and dance about getting a divorce. Brock is getting a divorce. Now stop hounding me, all right? Look, I, I'm just worried about you. I don't mean to hound you. Oh, I hope this isn't the hospital. Hello? Uh, yes, yeah, she is. Hold on. It's Brock. Hello. I've been calling all over town for you. Where have you been? Uh, I was at the castle. Shannon and Duncan had an engagement party. Uh, you know, I've been very worried about what happened at your house. Well, if you mean about my father walking in on us, I handled that. You okay? Yeah. I don't understand why you had to pull a gun. Well, as I told you on the way to the airport, uh, I'm a wealthy man. And I live in an exclusive suburb with my wife and children. And unfortunately, in today's world, that makes me a target, so I carry a gun. I uh, want you to understand that I really abhor violence as much as you do. But I thought we may have had an intruder there, and I was willing to protect you with my life. I'll have to call you back, OK? Sounds to me, rather than letting Miss Stewart down easily, you're getting closer and closer. You play me for a fool, Brock? Daddy? Daddy, we have some bedtime story. A story? We'll continue this conversation later. 